Hey guys, how you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips to Go. In today's video, we're going to go over Microsoft Outlook on running on a MacBook Pro. So I'm just going to go over some of the basic features. So this is more or less going to be a beginner's tutorial on Microsoft Outlook, and I'm running on a 2018 MacBook Pro. So let's get into it. Audio Jungle. <laughs> So the first thing you want to do is you want to open Outlook right here. Once you have Outlook open, you can just click on the bottom left here, which is a calendar. And as you can see, I've got a reminder here. And as your calendar gets filled up, you're going to start wanting to either snooze them, dismiss them, etc., etc. So if you're working in the corporate world and you do get a lot of invites um, this is what you're going to have to be doing you could either snooze this for x amount of time maybe five minutes or you could actually dismiss it altogether so you don't get that annoying pop-up anymore so this is was just a reminder that I had a call at four o'clock so let's get into creating a new uh, appointment request so it's pretty easy it's pretty straightforward so let's go over here and let's say we want to create an appointment. Um, let's let's call it a dentist appointment. So we have a dentist appointment, let's say Friday on the 21st. Let's just call it, this is for my kids. And let's just say the boys is dentist appointment. So you can set that. You can put in the location. Um, I'm in Toronto. So let's just put Toronto Bloor. And the duration is actually how long the appointment is. So this is great if you have attendees that are also going to be there. So let's say you're in the corporate environment and you're creating this appointment and you need people to be involved or to show up. So at least when they get that calendar invite or an email, they'll actually see how long or the, the duration of that meeting or that request is right so and this is good because as we have busy schedules sometimes you know you might only have half hour so you can also you know if I were to receive this I can decline it but there's a whole bunch of options in this there's also time zones as well so that's a really nice handy feature if you're working with a lot of remote agents or remote staff you can set time zones and so and so on so let's set this up the start date is going to be on the 21st and let's say that that dentist appointment is at 4 o'clock p.m. and it's going to go to 5 automatically so now here we can invite people so let's go invite someone's email address let's just put um, so at yahoo.com and if you had a bunch of contacts saved in your list you can click this button over here this is going to open up your contacts folder anyone that you saved in your contacts folder that you can just kind of select over here and you could start typing who's in your contacts folder so you can say Diana and then you would come up with a list of people named Diana and you could just add them in there so we have the two the subject the location the duration if it was an all-day event you can click this and here you can actually just put little notes say this is a reminder for our dentist appointment on Friday. And here you can come over to categorize it and you can say this is for family. So when they see that or when it's in your inbox or in your calendar, you can see this purple um, that reminds me it's for family. Now here reoccurrence is basically if this was going to be something that's recurring every Friday like you had uh, you know a soccer game or you had a meeting with your boss you know every every Friday at four o'clock which I hope you don't right but um, anyways so here you can um, once that's finished you can invite multiple people so once this is grayed out what you can do is just put Ron at yahoo.com and then you can type comma or you can just tab and then once it's grayed out like this or blue it out like that that means you can start typing another email address and let me just back out and here once you're finished with that you could actually just press send so we'll just send this appointment and that's gonna send an invite to that mail recipient 
and you heard that noise, that was actually uh, Microsoft Outlook sending an appointment reminder to that email address. And as you can see, it actually comes up as a reminder here. Now, if you wanted to adjust the view of this, of your calendar, I like to show my calendar a little different way. So I just find it too big. I like to see everything a little smaller. So you could come up to here. You can go to organize. You can organize it by the work week, by the week, or by the month. And I like to see my the whole month, kind of just so I can see like, before and next and if you wanted to go to the next month just click on the arrow or if you want to see the previous just go back and forth and here if you wanted to actually share your see how this comes up every five minutes a reminder if you wanted to completely dismiss this you can either dismiss all your reminders or just dismiss this reminder so I'd recommend just dismissing this reminder if you know that it's the only one that you have but if you have multiple ones and I would just look at them individually so over here what what you can do as well is you can open share your calendar so you can open share with a specific person when I used to work in a corporate environment I used to have to share my my email calendar with my boss because we were field tech so we would always be out on the field and that would allow my boss to see or kind of schedule my time you know if if i was available on a conference call if i wasn't or if i was on site she would know that i had an appointment at nine so most likely she would estimate that i'd be on site for maybe like four or five hours so i wouldn't be available so that's something handy that you can set um, you can do like an all-day event so for example let's say tomorrow you can like i mentioned you could do an all-day event and you could put in training and that's it. I like to just do that and just click that. And then at least everyone on your team, whoever you shared this with, knows that um, you're pretty much booked for the whole day. Now, let's say you were on vacation or you're going on vacation and you needed to set an appointment. And if this was a shared calendar, um, you could just come over here. And what you can do is put vacation. Or if you had a reminder that you wanted something to recur all the time, this is um, something that you could put recurring. You can say that it's going to start on the 24th at 12, and it's going to end at, let's say you're going to say at 8.30, and you could just put recurrence. And then duration is 30 minutes, and you can say it to repeat monthly weekly daily so let's just put weekly and then you can save and close so I'm not going to set that so I don't have that and bother me too much so with meetings and appointments is very similar I'm not going to cover it too much because it's very similar just with an appointment it's an appointment with a meeting you're inviting multiple people onto that meeting so very very similar with appointment whereas you can put in two Put in the email address of the people you want to invite to that meeting, the subject, the location, and you can put a reminder for anyone uh, that is going to be coming to the meeting. You could put a reminder 30 minutes before, send them a reminder. And then here you could actually request responses. One other handy feature if you had, let's go to a month and let's say you're a busy exec or you just had a really busy timetable and you had a lot of stuff on your calendar because this uh, works really well with the mobile app. I use uh, iOS, so I have an iPhone 10 and the Outlook calendar is actually a lot. I, I like it better than the Gmail calendar just because it's easier to swipe through. That's just my opinion. But if you had a busy schedule, what you can do in the Outlook calendar is you could come over to the search function and let's say you had a specific person that you had meeting with all the meetings with all the time uh, you could actually just come over to search function and just put in for example dentist and it actually show up with that criteria of all the appointments that you have with whether it be a person or with a dentist or a soccer game or something like that so that is it for this video if you like it please comment subscribe and I'll see you in the next video